With us now, the former Energy Secretary, Rick Perry. Sir, I want to talk COP28. They simply can't agree on when or how to phase out, or should they phase out fossil fuels entirely? Mr. S in my opinion, COP28 is descending into farce. What say you? Well, it's always been uh, a bit of a fairy tale, if you will. Uh, rich people get together and sip Chardonnay and eat brie and uh, talk about uh, uh, fairy tale stories about we're going to have this perfect world that we live in and we're going to get rid of fossil fuels and war and bad people. And, um, and nobody has a plan. And, and, and I think in, in all seriousness, that's the, the challenge here. And that's the reason that you heard the, the uh, head of COP. Uh, Mr. Uh, Al Jabbar, who basically said, if you want to force people back into living in caves, then go to net zero by 2050. And he has a point there. And, and the point, Stu, is that um, fossil fuels are going to be with us for a long, long time. As a matter of fact, it was the COP28 mentality that caused Europe to move away from fossil fuels uh, and and nuclear, I might add, and nuclear is going to play such an important role in the future of any transition away from fossil fuels. But when you saw Europe uh, doing away with their, LN or their natural gas facilities, their coal burning plants, their nuclear plants, and replacing them with solar and wind, and <clears throat> then the lights go out, you know, Eureka, um, solar and wind cannot keep the lights on. And that's the that's the story, and all of us know that. They're, they're a nice alternative to have. They're a nice addition. Uh, I'm not anti-wind or anti-solar, but what I am is I'm pro-keeping the lights on. And you must have base load that will come from uh, fossil fuels, hydrocarbons, and from nuclear power. If you don't have that in the mix, then just stand up and say, you don't well, you can't guarantee that the lights will stay on. And very importantly, to the people of Africa, the, the continent of Africa, some of the most racist policies I've ever seen in my life are by these radical environmentalists that want to tell the citizens of Africa, sorry, you're just going to live in rank poverty the rest of your life because we are going to do away with fossil fuels by 2050. What a terrible wow. thing. I, I want to look to 2024 for a second, Mr. Secretary. Do you have a candidate? Well, I don't. I'm just sitting here watching, and, and uh, but it's, you know, it's pretty, uh, uh, pretty apparent to me that uh, uh, former President Trump is leading the pack, and I think it's going to be up to everybody to explain to uh, the rest of the world, why he's not going to be the... Uh, here's what I do know. The policies that we had in place while President Trump was, was there, yeah. uh, argue those with me. I'll be happy to sit down and argue those every day. Uh, you know, did he make everybody comfortable and happy? Maybe not. But my point is, this president that we have today, we are on the precipice of some really tragic events in the world. And you have a president, as you rightfully said, uh, he's not ready for another four years. As a matter of fact, uh, is he ready for the next four weeks? And that is, should be scary to the people of not just the United States, but of the world. You got a president who, by and large, is inept. Uh, you know, it, does he have cognitive challenges? Yeah, I'd say so. And are we ready for another four years of this individual with his lack of understanding and lack of of a, a grasp of the issues that are out there that are really important to the American people and to the citizens of the world. I want to go back to COP28 for a second. The UN wants to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by having people eat less meat. Okay. You're from Texas, home of beef, cattle, and cowboys. You, you can't be on board with that. Well, this goes back to the earlier comments that I made. This, these are people who get together who are not in touch with reality. Uh, the idea that, you know, if, if you're saying to the people of Africa, not only are we not going to let you have power, but we're not going to let you have any protein to eat either. So, you know, how dark hearted do you have to be? How out of touch with reality uh, to be sitting there uh, flying your big fossil fuel burning jet in from around the world, preaching to the rest of us that, you know what, you are not going to have this. It's OK for us because we're smart and cute and bright. And, um, you know, we're pretty cool, too. So yeah. it, it's just the, the citizens of the world that are paying attention 
realize that this is just a group of dilettantes uh, who really are not in touch with reality. Got it. Mr. Secretary, thanks very much for being on the show. Don't be such a stranger. Come back and see us soon, please. Rick Perry. Thanks, Steve. Deal.